Living near Peterson Air Force Base are concerned after an Air Force study verified toxic chemicals contaminated groundwater and soil and may have seeped into drinking water. Yeah, the chemicals came from firefighting foams used on the base back since the 1970s. Health specialist Kathy Walsh joins us tonight. And Kathy, we have looked into this before, and this is really, really concerning. It is, absolutely. And right now, researchers at CU Anschutz and the Colorado School of Mines have gotten a grant to investigate contamination of the drinking water in the communities of Fountain, Security, and Widefield, the belief is at least 65,000 Coloradans were exposed. Not once, not twice, but three times. Three different types of cancer for Dan Cruz. He wonders if the cause could be firefighting foam used since the 1970s at Peterson Air Force Base, other bases, and airports. The foam contains highly fluorinated chemicals known as PFCs. PFCs are suspected of causing some cancers, also underweight births. Micah Ullum's daughter Sadie was born weighing one pound, six ounces. She almost died um, several times. Micah has three children. Four pregnancies ended in miscarriage or death. Micah has lived near Peterson for 25 years and suspects the water. Because if you continue to pump poison into your body, something has to respond. Peterson is one of 190 Air Force bases where PFCs may have leached into the ground and surrounding areas. The 65,000 people in the towns near Peterson may be America's hardest hit. The EPA says anything over 70 parts per trillion could be dangerous. Some water tested here had over 1,300 parts per trillion. A proposed class action lawsuit against the foam manufacturers charges the foam has caused serious medical conditions in hundreds of residents. One company, 3M, says there is no merit in the health claims. But the Air Force has responded, spending more than $4 million to provide bottled water and filtration systems. 3M says it will vigorously defend this lawsuit and others like it. Meanwhile, Colorado researchers will study water and blood samples to better understand how the chemical exposure may affect long-term health. It's scary stuff. Mm. Always is. Yeah. Chemicals and water, not a good mix. Yeah. Kathy, thanks.